Right, we're going to look at two functions now. The first one is the delete. And again, if I click on that del any, and I go up to any of my shapes and click on that, then I can remove the entire shape. If I decide that I don't want to do that, if I go across my drawing aids toolbar on the right hand side and undo edit, then I can bring that back and again, remove it using the same button. It's worth saying at this point that 2D design only has one undo and when you're drawing any shapes you need to be very careful about what you remove before going on to the next uh, task. I always tend to, when I'm drawing a shape, do that shape and then copy it onto the blue area so that if I do go horribly wrong then I have a shape to go back to which will stop me from starting again. So that's your del any. If I wanted to only remove part of that shape, let's say for example this line in here, if I go and click with my left mouse button and hold that down, then go across to the second button, it allows me to delete part of that object between the two nearest intersections. And that's basically fancy for removing part of a line rather than the whole shape. So I'm going to let go of that, and I'm going to go over and I'm going to click on that. And you can see already that I've got that there. If I decide I wanted to click on that line of the triangle there, and that one there, I've now got a shape which originally was a circle and a triangle, but which is now an abstract shape. And as before, where we were talking about building abstract shapes from geometric shapes, this is another way that we can do that. So del any and del part is a very useful tool whenever you are using 2D design and building up detailed or abstract shapes. Once you've done that, you may wish to start thinking about colouring them or filling them. And the button that we're going to use here is, again, on the left, on your Draw Edit toolbar, and it's Bound Fill. It's the fourth one down on the right-hand side of that left toolbar. If I click on there, it brings up a dialog box, and that will allow me to do several things. I'm just going to move that to the side. Now, I'm not going to worry about my line or my colour at the moment. What I want to think about is my fill. If I click on Fill there, the default is solid. I can change that to graduated. I can change that to a hatch pattern. I could change that to a texture, or I could change that to a pattern. At the moment, though, I just want a solid colour. So what I'm going to do, click on solid, and I think I'm going to change that colour to green. If I click on OK there, and click OK there, and OK there, I have now not a pointer, but a small hand with a word locate attached. If I click on the inside of any f shape, I'll locate that colour in there, providing there are no stray lines, it will ask me if there are any islands. If you only want to fill that shape once, click on no, and that should fill that there. And the same goes for any other shape. As you can see there. If I wanted to change my colour again, double click on my bound fill, and again I could change my colour to red, and I could locate that there, any islands, I only want to do that once, so I'm going to click on no. If I wanted to do it more than once, or fill multiple shapes at the same time, double click change the colour if you want to, I'm going to change that to blue, click OK, and this time I'm going to click on the inside there, and I'm going to click yes, because I do want to do more than one island, and click on there, now I've done two already, shall I do another one? Yes, I think I'll do one more, click on yes, and then on the inside there, and then click on no and that will allow me to fill multiple shapes at the same time. If I decide I want to now change my colour from a solid fill into a texture, 
or a graduated shape. I can actually click on my graduated shape and I can mess around with the colours. I can change the colours here and I can put that in there. If I want to change the rotation of the shading I can do that. Now this is particularly useful if you're trying to draw three-dimensional shapes in 2D design and make them look realistic and uh, try and follow the direction of light. If I wanted to click on texture there's some quite nice textures in 2D design. You can go over to load texture and I could click on any of these and I could click on those and open that there and when I go to OK, that will allow me, as before, to fill that shape. Click back on there, go to Fill. Let's try a pattern this time. Again, with 2D Design, it does come with quite a lot of patterns, or you could actually load your own. And in this way, you're able to build up quite a nice, detailed and interesting design. This works particularly well if you're trying to do a cover sheet for something.